Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to rename administrator account on client computers using grip policy. We will create a GPO and link it to an OU that will rename the local admin account on domain join computers. When we install any Windows operating system, the default administrator account is disabled. But during the post installation, we create another admin account on Windows computer. To improve security in your Active Directory domain, you should rename the administrator account because this lowers the risk of brute force attacks. Renaming the administrator account and resetting its password on all computers in your Active Directory domain can be easily done via group policy. Remember, we are not going to rename the built-in administrator account. We will be renaming the other admin account which we create during the post installation. For this demo, we have two virtual machines running in Oracle VM virtual box. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. We have another domain join Windows 10 VM with the host name win 10 cli 01 Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. From the Server Manager's tool menu, select Group Policy Management. Right click the Group Policy Objects node and select New. In the New GPO dialog box, enter a friendly name for the new GPO. For example, rename Admin Account. Click OK to create a GPO. The new GPO is successfully created and added to the Group Policy Objects container. Let's modify the GPO settings. Right click the newly created GPO and select Edit. In the Group Policy Management Editor window, navigate to Computer Configuration, Preferences, Control Panel Settings and click on Local Users and Groups. Right click Local Users and Groups, New and click on Local User. Configure Local User Properties on General tab. Make sure that the action is set to Update. Select or type the username that you would like to rename. Remember, we are not renaming built-in administrator account as it is already disabled. We have another admin account which we have created during the post installation on client computers. The current administrator account name is admin and we want to rename the account to MSFT admin. So here we have to manually type the username instead of browsing. Type the username admin which is the admin username on Windows 10 computer. In the rename to box, enter the new username. I am going to type the username MSFT admin. Enter your desired full name. Let's type MSFT admin. You can add a description which is totally optional. Choose the checkboxes that complies with your company policies. Let me clear this first checkbox. I am only selecting account never expires option. We are not going to modify other options as in the next video, we are going to deploy Windows LAPS for local admin password management using group policy. Click on Apply and OK. Now suppose if you want to rename your built-in administrator account, you have to select New and Local User. Uh, make sure action is set to Update and from here, select your built-in administrator account. Uh, specify the name which you want to assign to your built-in administrator account and fill up all the details as per your requirement. Simply click on Apply and OK and that will rename your built-in administrator account too. I am going to click on Cancel as we are not going to rename built-in administrator account. Now let's close Group Policy Management Editor window. We will be on Group Policy Management Console. So GPO is now configured and we can deploy it in our network. Since this is a computer-based GPO, Make sure you link the GPU to a location that will target the computer accounts. We have stored the computer account of our Windows 10 computer under India Computers OU. So we will link the GPU there. Let's go back to GPMC. 
right click on ind computers ou and select link an existing gpu from the list select rename admin account and click on okay confirm that the gpu is successfully linked to the targeted ou ind computers to see the result let's go to our windows 10 computer this is our domain join windows 10 computer right click on start menu and select computer management expand local users and groups and then click on users here we can see the built in administrator account is already disabled we have another admin account name admin right click on the admin user and select properties click on member of tab confirm that this is the local admin account on this windows 10 computer and we are going to rename this account using the group policy click okay The default group policy refresh interval for computer setting is 90 minutes. If you want to apply the GPU immediately on a client computer, open a command prompt and type gpu update slash force command at the command prompt. Let's open run menu, type cmd and press enter key to open command prompt. Type command gpu update slash force and hit enter key to manually update the group policy. As you can see computer and user base policy updated successfully. Go back to computer management to check the result. Click on users and then click on refresh to see the updated list of user accounts. After the policy has been applied, we should find the new username in local users on client computers. We can confirm that we don't have that admin account anymore. Instead We have new user account named MSFT admin. Let's double click on it. Click on members tab and we can confirm this is the our administrator account. This completes the video on how to rename administrator account on client computers using group policy. In the next video, we will see the steps on how we can configure Windows LPS using group policy. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day